Hey everybody, this is Captain Ramius coming to you from EVE Online. And today, we've got a heist. Now, when I rolled into this, this, uh, you know, NPC site, and I'm killing things and having a good time, and no issues, and, you know, so I killed everything, and then I came back with my salvager. Man, I'm salvaging things like you're watching right now, and I'm just having a good old time. And, you know, and then I, I rolled up on some wrecks and I couldn't figure out why it was telling me that if I, if I salvaged the wreck, I was going to have a suspicion timer on me. So in EVE Online, if you, uh, if you kill some players, and, you know, that's going to give you a suspicion timer and some other stuff. But I usually don't do PvP. I'm usually just a PvE guy. And this is like the first time since the game came out where I rolled up on a wreck and I wanted to... At first, I wanted to loot it. And so I couldn't even loot it. Right, because my safety was turned on. It was green. You can see that in the video. The safety's green. And so then I turned the safety to yellow because I wanted to loot the wreck. And like an idiot, I got a suspicion timer. And the only thing you can do with the suspicion timer, you don't want to log out because your ship's going to stay in space. Now, it'll warp off at a, you know, odd angle, but it's going to hang around in space. People with uh, combat probes, if they wanted to, they could find your ship and just take it from you while it's in space or, or blow it up. They probably just blow it up because it has a, the, the ship's going to have a suspicion timer. And I also couldn't dock. Now, I didn't know if I pulled up to a station because I can warp to zero, if it's going to let me dock with the suspicion timer, it might not. I've never, you know, like I said, I don't do PvP. So I decided just to hang out and wait and wait out the timer. And so that's what I did. I, I had a safe spot. I knew that. So I, I, you know, rolled into my safe spot and uh, just waited out the timer. It's a 15 minute timer. Now we're not gonna, we're not gonna watch that for 15 minutes in this video. I've, I've made the video go, you know, a couple times faster than normal. I'm sure we're not having to waste all that time. But it was kind of a tense 15 minutes. Uh, you can't tell that I'm tense other than I'm checking D-scan. I've got it set to 14.3 AU, and I'm tapping that button to check D-Scan on a regular basis. Because the thing I don't want is for someone to use combat probes. Maybe they're just out tooling around. This is a high-sec system. You're not going to do any PvP in a high-sec system. Someone could have got lucky and rolled up, scanned me down if I'm not watching, and then they would see I've got a suspicion timer and they can freely shoot me and there's really nothing I can do at that point. The game is not going to favor the person with a suspicion timer. If you have a suspicion timer, the game assumes you did something illegal, which I kind of did. And the game is going to favor those who roll up on you because, you know, you shouldn't be getting a suspicion timer. So right here, you can see I've got it. Now, I picked up the suspicion timer earlier on than this point but you know I decided to go to my safe spot and I'm just hanging out and watch how many times I hit the D scan you can see it flash green in the middle of the screen I'm hitting that D scan like there's no tomorrow because I'm not this ship isn't fit for PvP it's a small frigate 
And, you know, the worst nightmare would be several people roll up and decide to shoot you because you have a suspicion timer. So, can't dock, can't log out, sitting in my safe spot, watching D-Scan, that's it. That's the whole 15 minutes. And you can watch the suspicion timer, you know, tick down at this point. It's about 25% tick down. But <laughs> I'm watching D-Scan and I want to make sure I'm not going to get caught. So, you know, if you're out there doing PVE and you happen to see some yellow cans, some yellow wrecks, because they were yellow. Normal PVE wrecks are white. And they're kind of a brighter white before you check them. And then, then the, the white turns a little bit darker, so it's a subdued white um, after you check them. These were yellow, which again, I don't really do PVP, so I didn't recognize it. And yeah, if you're ever in that situation, make sure you've got a safe spot. Uh, pick a celestial like, like a star and warp to 100, don't warp to zero. Warp to 100, hit control B and then enter to make a spot, make a pin. That's your safe spot. It, it pays to have several of them. Uh, for sure, if you're in low sec or null sec, you're going to want to be making these safe spots. And when people don't, they lose their ships. It's just that simple. So we're watching this, this uh, yellow timer up in the upper left. You can see it right next to a white timer. The white timer is for a booster. The yellow timer is a suspicion timer. And I'm checking it and I'm checking. I'm hitting, hitting D-scan, making sure nobody's around. I'm checking the loot I picked up because I'm on. That must have been a PvP battle, but this is a high sec system. I, I wouldn't expect to see player racks in a high sec system, but here it must have happened. You know, the game does reuse some of the, uh, the cosmic signature sites, and this was one of those. I picked it up off the opportunities. Uh, display on the Neocom. It's that uh, outer circle with a dot in the center. It's like the uh, fourth from the top on the left icon. So I picked it up from there and I figured okay I'm gonna sh shoot some 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 mobs because I want to do that to clear one of the dailies and uh, surprise surprise yellow yellow racks. Make sure you have a safe spot. I started doing that a long time ago. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but uh, you make a safe spot and then warp to your safe spot. And finally I decided after I was sitting there for a while that maybe what I want to do is get off that grid. So I turned on my AB like you can see now and I'm heading away from that safe spot because you know, if people happen to scan me, they're not going to think I'm moving. And if I get if I can get from one grid to another, wherever they happen to see me, now I'm not moving fast enough to get off a grid in a couple seconds. It's not a great strategy, but hey, when you're when you're suspected of committing a crime and you can't dock, what else are you going to do, man? You just got to try to figure something out. Now, I, I didn't freak out. I just went to my safe spot and then started to move. And then right about here, after the timers run down, well, now I can dock. So I decided to go and make me another safe spot. So warp to the star, warp to 100, and uh, go, back to, go back to the safe spot. And then I finally docked. So, I mean, it pays to know what you can do when you need to, you know, make sure you're not going to get shot at. Now, if you want to be PvP, well, that's another story. 
But here in a moment, let's check out what I picked up from all that loot. All right, so here here we are rolling up to a station. I want to sell all that loot. And what it turned out to be more than anything else was a bunch of NPC officer tags. Believe it or not. And I couldn't believe it. I went, what were these people carrying? You can see all the tags there. I went, what were these people carrying? And, you know, I wanted the money to do a fit. So, you know, I don't even know who these people were. I have no idea. I have no idea why they were fighting each other. And, you know, even less idea as to what they might have been doing because I ruled up on it late. You know, it's like... It's like walking into a movie and you're in the, you know, it's right after a fight scene and there's a bunch of money laying around. So, you'll be able to see here in a moment that uh, I just started selling all that loot and it turned out to be a nice chunk of change. But, you know, why don't we uh, fast forward through that and, uh, Let's just take a look at it. All right, so I'm here in the station and I'm selling off all the loot. And as you can see, as we go by, there are a lot of tags, a lot of them. Now, right now, I'm just checking some information for the fit I want to do, but I needed I needed some ISK for the fit. And that's where this loot came in. So, you know, I'm doing my thing, I'm going over my fit, and I'm looking at these tags, and I'm going, what is this? Uh, all these tags. And some of them turned out to be pretty valuable. Now, when you're out doing PvE, you can kill some mobs in some level 2 or level 3 or level 4 missions for, you know, any particular uh, agent out there. And some of the, some of the you know, NPCs might drop some of these tags. These guys must have been collecting the tags. That's, that's what I figured. So, you know, before I started selling the tags, I'm doing my fit, because my, my new ship is an Algos. Algos turns out to be, you know, a grown-up Tristan. Now, the Tristan is a good ship. Don't get me wrong. But Algos is just a much better Tristan. And, you know, after I got this ship fit, it had a 60 kilometer targeting range. I could, you know, I could cast the drones out 60 kilometers. Uh, you want to warp up to a site and there's a bunch of NPCs going to spawn and you can be, you know, 60 kilometers away or 50, whatever. Turn on your afterburner and then set up to be at least 60 kilometers away or 55. You don't want to get out of range of your drones. Otherwise, they'll kind of tend to disconnect and ignore you. So, you know, you can pull up at 50 kilometers and then turn on your afterburner and get, get out to 60 or 55 and just, you know, chill and let your drones do the work. So, you know, I'm playing around with the uh, with the skin, got that under control, and I'm looking at these tags, and I start selling them. And, you know, like I said, they were pretty valuable. Not all the tags, but some of the tags were pretty valuable. And, you know, stay tuned, because you're going to get to see at the end just how much ISK I had after this. And it was well worth going out and collecting the loot up off whatever NPCs you happen to kill. It's well worth it. I'd recommend you use a mobile tractor unit because you pull up to 50 kilometers away from the site, drop your, your MTU. Uh, it'll pick things up to out to uh, 125 kilometers, I think it is. And um, your, your MTU is going to sit there and loot all the wrecks, pull the wrecks to it, and then loot them. Saves time if you want to do salvaging because your MTU is right there, all the wrecks are in, you know, in one place. 
you pull all the loot out of the MTU, you scoop up the MTU, you know, get a bookmark on the pile of wrecks, go get your salvaging ship. I've got a dedicated venture set up for that. And then you come back and salvage the wrecks. And what you get from salvaging the wrecks probably going to be worth another half a mil to a mil or more, depending upon the number of wrecks and the kind of site that you uh, happen to clear. And a lot of people do that no matter where they go. You want to go to JSpace through a wormhole, you know, JSpace is like NullSec, or you want to go to Poshvin or whatever. It, you know, pays to have a mobile tractor unit. Yeah, the other piece of gear you can have is, you know, a uh, it's like a, a mobile station where you can work on your fits. Uh, so those are two pieces of gear you might want to have. Now, the kind of ship that I favor is the kind of ship that has drones. I like drone ships. And if I can get my drones out to 60 kilometers or 80 kilometers or 100 kilometers, and that means that if I've got a like a 100 kilometer targeting range, now check this out, man. This is all the money I picked up. When I was done selling all of those tags, I had 61 million ISK. So that definitely gave me a positive balance. Hey, this has been Cappy Smack. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, check out that link where you can get a million skill points. Now, I get a little kickback, but it's not about what I get. It's about what you get. You got to take care of yourself. And we'll check you later.